In this video, I'm going to talk about how to build a SaaS on high level. Hey guys, Kerry Canole here, and in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that by answering the following three questions. How to get the SaaS configurator, how to set up your SaaS plans, and how to set up your SaaS sub account. So I'm going to hop on over to my white label pro version of high level. And the first thing you're going to want to do is actually sign up for that. So there's a link directly below this video that will take you over to this particular page and yes I am an affiliate and yes that is my affiliate link so I would appreciate it if you would use it however if you don't I understand so you're going to get a 14 day free trial of high level pro or high level pro SaaS and essentially it's $4.97 a month and then it gives you these features and the one that you're looking for primarily is you need SaaS mode which SAS mode really is the SAS configurator. So I'm going to show you how to get to access that right now. So we're going to go back over here. First thing you're going to do though is you're going to go into settings and then you're going to go into company. And eventually when you decide on what your SAS is going to be about, you're going to create a logo, a company logo, and then you're going to upload it here so it shows up in the left hand corner. And you're going to give it your name, whatever you're going to name your SAS. And then you have your support email, company phone number, or your phone number, whatever you want to use there, company website. And then you can pick your business niche, in this case, software company. And then what do you primarily use high level for, for white labeling and reselling software? And then you'll have this option to white label the domain. So it no longer shows app.gohighlevel.com, it'll show app.yourdomainforyoursas.com. And once you do all that, then you'll want to add a privacy policy URL, terms and conditions URL as well. And you're pretty much all set at that point. You can use the light theme or the dark theme, and then you'll just click update company. Once you do that, go back. Once you go back, you're going to go into SAS configurator. And SAS configurator is where you're going to configure your SAS plans, which is how you set up your SaaS in high level. So I've got several plans created here. I have, um, I think I still have it. Yeah, your SaaS plan name. I set up as a demonstration purposes. Uh, right now I changed the price point to $497 a month, $4,970 annually. Right now there's no snapshot attached to this particular plan, but you could attach a snapshot if you want. If you're not sure what snapshots are, basically cloning a completely configured sub account into a file or or a link that then can be imported or attached to another sub account any sub account right and so when you create a SAS off of high level you'll probably have a snapshot of your SAS that you want to include with your plan and so you want to add that here and then, of course, you can add these features or take them away however you see fit, depending on what you want to offer in your SaaS. You can also add a trial period if you want to and or complimentary credits. So I'm not going to go through um, each of these in depth, but if I wanted to, I can edit this particular plan. And then what I would do is this is my plan name. This is where I can give it a plan name, plan description, but be aware you only have up to 40 characters to use. Then we have pricing. This is where you're going to set your price. So you can set it to whatever you want for monthly or annual. And the best part that running a SaaS on high level is you keep 100% of the profits from every sale you make. From there, you can also enable user limit or contact limit if you want to and limit the number of users or number of contacts. Then we'll go on to features. This is where you can select or unselect additional features to give access to in your SAS plan. Then trials and credits is where you'll activate your trial period if you want to and you can set it from anywhere from zero days to 30 days. And of course you have complimentary credits so you can have these credits. You can add them as a one-time or recurring credits and you can actually also allow them to roll over to the next month if you want. So you can add that here too. Then under rebilling you have everything that you would need to set up. So we have phone system, and so it has phone system resell settings. We have that enabled. We can mark this up as much as 10 times, although I recommend not going above two times. Um, two times is still a very nice margin. 
And then you can do this for both the phone system, the email, the lead connector, premium triggers and actions, lead connector, email verification, content AI, workflow AI, conversation AI, WhatsApp con uh, conversation, reviews AI, and any other additional features that they end up adding as they are constantly adding to the high level platform. All right, so once you have your SaaS plan all set up and ready to go, I'm going to move myself over here. You would click save changes and you'll be on your way. Since I didn't make any changes, I can't save it. Next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to create a sub account. So click on sub accounts and you'll want to create a new sub account specifically for your SaaS. So click create sub account and then you will create your SaaS sub account usually from a blank snapshot unless you already have created one but I highly doubt you would have one it's kinda of putting the uh, horse before the carriage so to speak so or the carriage before the horse whichever direction you're going um, so you probably have to start with the blank snapshot initially you can do SAS account instead of regular account that's where I would do this selection and then from there you'll be taken to this screen where you can obviously search for a business but if this is your own business you won't probably be able to search for it unless you already have a business established you want to use that same business address name etc for this particular SAS so you'll click add account manually you'll then fill in all of these details your name first name last name email address business name so this is going to be your SAS business name street address city country business niche state zip code phone number website and time zone then you click save here at the bottom once that happens you'll have a sub account created so I'm gonna go back to sub accounts and let's just imagine for a minute that my demo sub account is my new SAS sub account so what I can do from here is I can switch to SAS I can manage the client or I can switch into the sub account so the first thing you probably want to do is manage the client just so you get a full understanding of what you can do here so anything that you just filled in to create it you can edit so you can change the name first name last name email address phone number um, you can add additional information below here like tasks and notes on this side and then under SAS this is where you can enable SAS mode for this location to create a subscription for rebilling telephone and email usage this would usually be only used for new clients not for your own SAS so don't get confused you do not need to enable SAS mode here in fact do not do that or you'll just be charging yourself which you don't want to do and usage limits as well if this is your SAS sub account I would not uh, turn on any of these limits then under rebilling we don't have to worry about that either if you do want a dedicated IP address, you can do this by adding provide dedicated IP for email directly. I agree to provide IP for this client without upsell. You will be charged $59 a month for each IP by checking these two off and clicking agree. Don't do that unless you absolutely know that you want a dedicated IP for IP address for emailing from your SaaS. Reselling, again, you have the option to utilize this stuff inside of your sub account I usually just leave it defaulted I'm not using any of that for my SAS right now then we have marketplace apps where you can get additional apps there's like 27 pages of different apps that you can add to your account if you want to so I don't have any of these added to my SAS account at this point but you may want to investigate them and check them out under advanced settings you'll definitely want to do this you'll want to increase the limit right away uh, most likely because it's your SAS account and you want to not be throttled back if unnecess unnecessarily so right so I would increase limit there so current limit now is 15,000 emails you're still limited on SMS initially until you follow through with registering a phone number and doing the A2P 10 DLC registration process right to get approved then these limits can increase as well from here, control your location settings, enable re-verification for 90 days on emails. This is a good, a good practice to have for better deliverability for your emails. However, if you don't want to do it, just disable it. And then disable the add email service button 
in the sub account email service settings. You do not want to do that because again, this is going to be your specific sub account for your SaaS. Once you've done all that, from here on actions, you can do a couple things. You can load a snapshot. So if you have a specific snapshot you want to load, you can do it here. You can delete this account if you want to start over. You can pause the sub account if you don't need it for some reason. I don't know why you'd want to pause your own sub account, but you could do it. And then of course you can transfer your sub account if you wanted to to another high level account. After you have all that done and you're happy with it, then you can switch to sub account. Once you're in your new SaaS sub account, which I would suggest naming it the same name as the company name that you decide to go with with your SaaS so it's easy to find and matches up. The first thing you want to do is go into integrations down here in the bottom left hand corner. You want to go down to settings and you want to make sure you have these integrations enabled and the one that you want to primarily enable is Stripe so you want to make sure that's enabled. You probably also want to connect to Facebook, Instagram, Google, etc. But definitely want to get Stripe so you can accept payment. And once that is done, another thing you'll want to do is you'll want to go into domains and you'll want to add a domain that whatever domain is going to be for your SaaS business. And after that, you'll probably want to go into phone numbers and grab a phone number and go through the 10, the A2P. 10 DLC registration process and then you'll want to go into email services and you'll want to create a dedicated domain likely for your SaaS so you can do that from clicking on dedicated domain and IP or clicking that other blue button and then walk through that process of getting that set up this is set up by default from the agency level um, and if you are going to offer email marketing services to your SaaS clients, you'll likely want to go into your agency level or SaaS level, right, which is going back here and then clicking on, we didn't have to go back, but we click on our location, right, our sub account, and then go back to switch to agency view. And that's where we can add in the email services a default email service provider for each of our clients under if they're purchasing SaaS through us, right? So you can give them one email set up or automatically, or you can allow them to add their own. I suggest you let them add their own and or don't even provide your own because if you get bad actors in your SaaS, meaning people who are using it for spam, etc., it's gonna tarnish your reputation, specifically if you're using your main domain when you set that email service. And you don't want to do that. You don't want to ruin that reputation and ruin your deliverability. So don't do that. Okay. And then from there, you want to go to payments. And then once you're connected to Stripe, you'll want to, and after you've con configured a couple or at least one SaaS plan minimum in the SaaS configurator at the agency level, then what you'll want to do is you'll want to come into products. And then you'll want to import from Stripe because that's going to be where you're going to get your SaaS plan from that you've already created at the agency level. So you click on that. And since it says you do not provide an API key, you need to provide your API key for authorization header. This is all about Stripe. I'm not connected to Stripe. I can't do that right now in this demo account. But you would import it from there and then it would bring it up and show you the SaaS plan name, the SaaS plan um, payment option at least you would have to select what one of the first two right you'd select the monthly then you'd select the yearly or you select the yearly and then select the monthly and then both would be brought in here and they'd be listed here then you can take those and you can actually add them to a sales funnel or a website order form and then you can put that website or that sales funnel order form on your domain pointing out to the world on the internet where someone can visit it, check out your SaaS, why they should get your SaaS, etc., from your sales pages, and then click on a buy now button or an order link and be taken to the order form where they can check out and be automatically set up in your SaaS.
and have their account automatically set up without you having to do anything, which is the beautiful part to this. All right, so that is how to build a SaaS on high level in the simplest, easiest, most straightforward way I can think of explaining it to you. All right, there are some other things you can do, of course, along the way, but that is probably the shortest explanation on how to actually set this up. So I hope you found that this video to be useful. Uh, let me know if you have any questions or comments. Leave them below this video, and I'll do my best to answer them in a timely manner. Okay, before you go, I want to share with you how you can get access to what I consider the biggest, best, and probably baddest high-level bonus package you'll ever find on the internet worth darn near, if not over, $14,000. All right, so below this video, you can click on a link that will take you to this page you see in front of you. Once you see this page, you click this black button. This pop-up will pop up. You will enter your name, email address, and phone number. Click this black button, and once you submit your information, you'll be taken over to the high-level bonuses page that explains everything you're going to be receiving. So there's another talking head video of me explaining the benefits to my high-level bonus package. And if you scroll on down, you can see everything that's included, including my high-level insiders flagship mastermind membership program that's absolutely 100% free just by signing up for either Marketing Engines AI, my SaaS, or through one of my affiliate links for High Level itself. So you can get all the information you need about that on this particular page. This program includes High Level Masterclass for Beginners. So this gives you a series of videos that will teach you everything you need to know about High Level. You will also receive the High Level Agency Masterclass for Beginners. So if you are on the 297 Agency Plan or better, the Pro or SaaS White Label Plan, you will also have everything you need to know about configuring the Agency and or White Label Pro SaaS Plan. From there, you're also going to get access to my Marketing Engines AI, various proprietary engines that I am building out in my Marketing Engines AI SaaS. You can get beta access to these. So the only ones that are going to be getting access to these before Marketing Engines AI actually officially launches on 525.25 are those who sign up through my affiliate link or Marketing Engines AI at this point as beta access users. So you're going to get access to the AI appointment booking engine, the AI birthday celebration engine, the AI sales funnel website engine, the AI lead alert engine, the AI reputation review engine, the AI customer referral engine. Plus there's going to be several more of these engines added to marketing engines AI platform in the coming weeks and months ahead. On top of that, you're also going to get access to the foundation workshops. Now the foundation workshops are built out to help you grasp the order of operations that are necessary in order to be proficient and be able to build things out in a timely manner for yourself and or your clients. So week number one, we start with custom fields and custom values. Week number two, we talk about forms and surveys. Week number three, we talk about calendars. Week number four, we talk about pipelines and opportunities. Week number five, we talk about email services. Week number six, we talk about phone numbers with the A2P10 DLC compliance and application process. Week seven, we talk about payments and invoices. Week number eight, workflows and automations. Week number nine, funnels and websites. Week number 10, trigger links and URL redirects. Week number 11, contacts, lists, and tags. Week number 12, conversations and conversation AI. Week 13, Google reviews and reviews AI. And week 14, communities and memberships with more to come after that. You'll also be receiving marketing engine workshops specifically geared towards helping you fully understand each one of those aforementioned marketing engines AI engines that you're going to get beta access to. So reputation management service workshop, 
the customer referral service workshop, the birthday marketing service workshop, etc. You'll also get access to weekly live Q&A calls, so you get a chance to get all of your questions answered, and we'll keep you up to date with the latest tools, resources, strategies, tactics, and processes that you need in order to be successful with high level. There's also a private community where you can mastermind with and get the support of a select group of like-minded individuals that are as committed to building their business as much as you are. And if you keep on going, you can read some testimonials, and I even tell you exactly how to cancel. You can cancel at any time, 24-7, 365, 366 if it's a leap year, and you can even cancel while you're on the pot. So I show you step-by-step -step on how to cancel your account if high level is not right for you or Marketing Engines AI. So again, this total bonus value is $14,099 and counting. I'm sure it'll be increasing as I develop and launch additional engines. And if you have any questions regarding what's all included in the bonus package or high level insiders, I have a frequently asked questions area that you can pretty much get all the answers to your questions there. However, if you have additional questions, feel free to reach out and I'll do my best to answer them for you. All right, once you've decided to sign up through my high level link or through Marketing Engines AI, either one on this particular page, you will click one of these black buttons. Once you do that, it'll say try high level now for free and you will get a chance to either sign up for Marketing Engines AI, which I will give you a 30 day trial of it. So I give you a little better option than just signing up for high level where you can only get a 14 day trial. However, if you're not interested in signing up for Marketing Engines AI for whatever reason, and yet you want to get started with high level, try it out. You can start your 14 day free trial of high level on the starter agency plan by clicking this link. If you have already started a trial through another affiliate, but you have not yet paid, so you're still in the trial period, you can extend your free trial of high level starter agency plan by clicking on this link. If you want, you can start your 30 day, I'm sorry, this is actually a typo. You can start your 14 day trial of high level pro SaaS plan by clicking this link. And the best news is even if you already have high level through someone else and you're paying month to month or what have you, you can upgrade to the high level agency plan from the starter plan. Let's say you're on the starter plan and you want to move up to the agency plan, you can upgrade here and still get access to all my bonuses, including high level insiders. You can also upgrade to the high level pro SaaS plan, which is the white label plan by clicking on this link, or you can purchase or upgrade to the high level annual plan by using this last link. If you choose to upgrade to the white label pro SaaS plan, then you will click on this link and it will take you over to this page here where it says upgrade to high level pro today. You will have to input the agency relationship number, which you can find right here, agency code. So you just copy and paste this in. And then of course you can use my code ZZYYZZX as well. And then if you are interested in only starting your 14 day free trial of the high level pro SaaS plan, and you click that link, it'll take you over here where you can see everything you're getting and click on start a free trial of the pro SaaS plan today. All right, so that's everything that's included inside of my high level bonus package. So just pick the option that works best for you, depending on your situation. If you have any questions about this, please let me know. You can either leave me a comment below the video, or if you know how to get in touch with me otherwise, you can send me a message via one of those other options. I'll do my best to get back to you in a timely manner. Thank you so much, and I look forward to helping you learn and advance your skill set with high level inside of High Level Insiders. I can't wait for you to join us. Hope you have a good one. We'll speak with you real soon.